setting up Google Analytics on your website. It's one of the first things anyone should do. Obviously, Analytics is free and it allows you to see people who are hitting your website, where they're coming from, which pages they go to, what time they spend on site, and various other things. So this video in particular is about setting up analytics. So you would just Google, Google Analytics, and it'll take you to a page like this, and then you can click Start for Free. Now, this is me just going to set up a test account just now, and so I'm just going to put my name in there. You can call it whatever you want. You can put in your website URL, Um, so ju that's just your website name. You can put the domain name in here. You can select the industry category that's most relevant to your business. So mine would be possibly business and industrial markets. Time zone. I'll just select United Kingdom. And it's got some various other data sharing settings. You can tick or untick those if you want. Um, now, with analytics, it's worth bearing in mind if you work with a lot of accounts, you can have up to 100 accounts on one um, email account. So I've got 35, but the maximum is 100. As I say, data sharing, you can tick and untick whatever you want to share. Um, I just leave them all ticked. I think, obviously, sharing data helps Google better there service and um, so once you go here just click get tracking id and you just have to accept the terms um, of service so just tick these boxes and click i accept obviously read the data first um, and then what happens is it will give you a tracking id this ua code is the most important part um, that you want to be looking for. So, how do you add this? Now, you can add this code. It will tell you there. Copy and paste this code here, all of it, and copy this code as the first item into the head of every web page you want to track. If you already have a global site tag in your page, simply add the config line from the snippet below. Um, so there's a number of different ways. That's the config line there. Um, and so there's various other ways you can implement this though that are a bit simpler. If you're unsure of how to add code to the header of your website, if you're using WordPress, for example, um, there is a plugin called um, Google Analytics. WordPress. So if you go into your WordPress website and go to plugins, you can install this plugin here. Um, very simple and easy to use. It is also free. And basically, once that's installed, it will then ask you for this UA code up the top here. So I'm just going to go to my website just now. Just to show you the example. We go analytics. And you can use that one as well. Either one's fine. Um, what you want to look for when you're installing plugins is the amount of active installations that these guys have got and when the plugins were last updated. You can see any of the two of these both have over a million plus uh, installations and you can see they're both regularly updated. So you just click install now, click activate. And we'll just see where that's installed itself. So. Here we go, insights. So you go to settings 
and you can authenticate, uh, authenticate this automatically with your Google account. You don't actually have to put in the UA code. Um, so you can just authenticate that with your account here and that should automatically take you to your account. Um, and then you just click allow and that will do it all for you. Um, there are various other plugins you can use like um, if I go back to my website there are plugins um, that allow you to add header and footer scripts so it's called header and footer scripts so if you can't add headers to your website you can install this now header and footer scripts activate it what we want to do is grab the whole script um, and then go to header and footer scripts and it will ask you to copy and paste the header into the head section there and then click save settings and that stops you from being able to go into your website and mess about with the header scripts and blow your template up or whatever it may be so there are a number of different ways to get analytics installed on your website um, it's entirely up to yourself which way you want to do it that is all you have to do to um, connect analytics with your website you can also um, if you run AdWords campaigns, you can select your AdWords campaign and tie that into your analytics. Um, AdSense as well, um, so you can tie all that kind of stuff in if you use AdSense or um, Google AdWords. Um, so that all the data comes into the one analytics account and you can then interpret that data from there. So that is how to set up analytics. In the next video, I'll obviously show you how to interpret the data from this video.